Hello, same first day, yeah? and this time we have a job which uh, I haven't fixed it before, yeah. So this is this is some kind of new, even for for me, yeah. So let's see, yeah. I left the phone on the front of the ch on the front of the heater, so we can open the phone easily. It's a Samsung A5 2017, yeah. And it's not charging, it's not doing nothing. What do I think and they think it's a charging port issue? But we'll see. Yeah? So I hit up the phone, it's so hot you can't even touch it. Yeah, so I want I want just to take out the back cover. Oh, it's so hot. No, nothing wrong can happen if you hit up the phone. But you should be careful on your finger because it's hot. Yeah? Just to short the video, you know, I hit up the phone and now we can open and see. What's going on there? Yeah? Wow, wow, wow. Hot. It's very, very hot. The thing is, I don't know what is inside, because I never opened this phone. I think I haven't opened... Wow, it's so hot. I see on this side. If it's a charging port problem, the charging port is USB C, yeah. So we have to replace the the charging port. We have the charging port, so that's not a problem. Looks like they fixed the problem with the paint from the back, so the back is coming out nicely. Yes, look at the back, nice. All the paintings on place. Yeah, that's the phone. And the, probably this is the future, you know, because every, everyone is it's, uh, switching with USB-C. So you will have more of this, yeah? So it's a good idea to see what we can expect inside. And yeah, I will have day off tomorrow. I spoke with the owner, so I can be home and, you know, get better because I'm still ill. Not bad, but... So I'll be off from uh, end of the day till Monday. Okay.
That's nice. Nice design. You have two screws here on the USB C charging port. Battery. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's take the board out. Okay. Oh. We have these things here. The SIM card jacket and the uh, SD card. So be sure you take this off. Oh, I forgot the SIM card inside. I'm lucky the, the SIM card is not melt. That's nice. That's nice. So let's have a look. Okay, some liquid damage here. Huh? Maybe not. Let's have a look on the, on the USB C port, yeah? Is damage or not? Actually, the pins are on place. So what can be wrong with this one? Huh? Oh, I can't believe. Look what's there. You can see? No, I can't see. One second. Look what's there. So look like this will be the next problem with the... <laughs> you know what's funny? I will explain you. Uh, one sec, I will explain you. Look, look on the tracks. You can see the tracks? So basically... Yeah, these pins are moving. These trucks are gone. These are gone, 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 gone. <laughs> ah, that's funny. You know what? You know what? Uh, my first school after the the high school, yeah. After the secondary school, sorry, was mechanics, and this mechanic of this 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 USB C yeah has no has no uh, has no logic yeah. So when when you see this charging port yeah, uh, it's not focusing. So from a mechanic point of view yeah, I'm a mechanic, by my school yeah. If you if you look on this charging port, yeah, you just you just have to pray like to be no tension here. You know what I mean? Tension, mechanical tension, because our, if our mechanical tensions, there is no escape, yeah. So it's no escape, like uh, let's say like uh, you have a. Uh, Battle of compressed air, yeah. Those should be like a, a valve, like extra pressure. You know, put too much pressure, you have a valve, yeah, a safe valve. On this one, you have nothing. If you apply pressure, yeah, that's what will happen. The trucks get broken. 
yeah let me show you the 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 usb the old usb port yeah if you remember the video from yesterday the acer tablet you should remember if you've seen that video yeah yeah let me show you one second microscope uh, let me find a, a better example like that exactly like that one from yesterday but it's not even important yeah even this one yeah that's the charging port that's micro usb yeah but many of the micro usbs they have here on the top or on the bottom this and if you ask you why check again the video from yesterday so actually the charging port was was you know that the, the charging cable was moving inside but was still charging you know even with these things bent and open so all the tensions yeah the mechanical tension they can end here because this can uh, you know can do like that or like that and things like that yeah not the usb-c the usb-c no the usb-c doesn't have something like that so actually when you put pressure on the on the charging port yeah you'll break you'll break the tracks so this is a bad design i said it before yeah it's a bad design and also to put these things on the middle that that's a bad design you know the people try to plug inside the micro usb things cables yeah base design apple design yeah it's nothing inside it's a hole you can even put a micro usb cable you can't damage nothing you know people should just buy you know you have to buy the patent to use the charging port so they should buy the patent from apple and use same charging port yeah but no no they design and make it like a standard the usb-c that's crazy so actually the charging port is fine and i am prepared yeah one second actually i have the charging port I think I have USB C. Maybe not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do have the USB C, yeah. But again, this is a bad design, and that's you know I'm I'm speaking from the a mechanical point of view, yeah. mechanical viewpoint so that's the thing with the USB-C and you see look now you can say straight away you know so on this charging port was pressure yeah and the pressure didn't escape and if the pressure didn't escape what happened when you do something like that you'll block the motherboard or the the tracks on the board yeah okay so let's fix this one because we have to fix it and trust me this will come back this is a bit i don't know this will come back even if i will fix all the all this yeah if the people will do the same thing we'll come back with same problem this will be the next word fault yeah actually yeah the micro usb port it's a very good design the issue is you have one pin for ground and one for plus and you use that pin to carry around two amps that was the issue that, that, that was the one issue that's why the charging ports get broken because of that because obviously when you carry so much power the pin get hot and at some point will die yeah so it was not enough pins yeah i understand and the speed was uh, 
the communication speed is not like the USB C, but still, you know. No, you don't need all these pins. No, you have the plus. You can see here. You can see the power rails here. Let me bring this on focus, yeah. This is plus, you can see. Yeah? I think this is plus because it's on the mirror, yeah? And this is ground, and also here should be ground. So you can see here is ground because it's on the big truck, and this is plus, I'm sure. And the data pins are somewhere here. Maybe this and this, because you have two dials. Yeah, probably. Okay, so we have two dials, two resistors. I think I can do some uh, nice things here. Yeah, one second, let me check. I will try to fix this. Uh, diode, diode, okay. This is to ground. Let's see. This is to ground. It's not. That's great. This is to ground? No. So we can short the data pins here. You see, one data pin comes the diode and also comes to the resistor, yeah? This the same, yeah? So we can short here the data pins. And we can do the plus and the minus, which are not broken. And I think, I think we are, we are, we are fine. What flux should I use? Hmm? You know, I'll use the, the Amtec one. Because I want to see what I'm doing here. Okay. But this will be the next word fault. And this is coming. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, what's wrong with my solder iron? It's too hot. Let's try again. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so we short the data lines here. Yeah? That's good, because this will be the future of all the USB-C ports, yeah? Because to fix all the trucks, that's long. And it's not a boy, it's long, but you give the customer, the customer will bend the charging port once and all your trucks will be gone. And all your work, you know. Okay, so I done wrong, wrong what I done there. What I'm doing, why I'm doing bridges everywhere? And you know what, you know what, if, if on the USB-C, if, if, if on the micro USB we can straight at the charging port, you know, I'm using glue, hot glue or solder on this one you can't do nothing you can't do, do absolutely nothing because the charging board is okay it's too strong that's the issue it's too strong that's the main issue with this charging port yeah One second. It's not on focus. 
Sorry. Uh, I need, I need, okay, I need, I need a solder wire, the small one. This is too big, I know. Okay, even here the trucks are broken. You can see there we have a crack. I can't see. Maybe now. So even see uh, here I can see cracks. Okay. That's fine there, that's fine. That's okay, let's check. Let's see if it's working. Yeah. So this will be the future of USB-C. Yeah, you'll ignore all the pins and you'll show the data pins, and you will bri will uh, will will build the bridge with plus and minus, exactly like with the micro USB when the data tracks are gone. So let's see now. USB-C cable, yeah, found one, found one. Found one, but... Okay. Yeah, 100 milliamps. Looks like he's charging, but I'm not sure. I have to put back the board and check again. Same story with the hinge, you know, and I explain you, yeah, don't use like epoxy or strong things. Use flexible things. You remember? That's why I'm using hot glue is flexible and can eat any mechanical tension yeah this is basic you know or know of the mechanics same with the cars same with everything Four hundred milliamps is charging, but I think we have a low battery. But I don't even know if the screen is good. Yeah, it's charging. But four hundred milliamps is too low. Maybe because the battery is very low. Possible. They just changed 1.2 amps, yeah? You can see? 1.3 amps, that's when it's charging fine, yeah? So you understand with the USB-C? Waste of time to rebuild all the trucks. Short the data lines, yeah? Plus and minus and that's all. Easy job, cheap money for the customer. 1.3 amps. That's fine. Same with the cars, you know. On an accident, check when you see an accident, check and see which is the most damaged car. Because that car is better. <laughs> USB 
You don't want a strong car. You know, a car which uh, is not taking damage. No, you want a car who is will be eating damage. Yes, zero percent is charging. Same one point three amps. Everything is fine. I'll not play too much with these things because probably will get broken again. I should try find another solution. And one of the solution is solder like a tiny wire from the pin to the board. And that wire will eat the tension when you play with the charging port. Yeah, that can be a solution. 1% is charging fine, yeah? So how how can I put this back? The wires are plugged. I think it was a screw here. A black one. Well let me see where. Here. Yeah, there. I think. And I still have a black one. Who comes from? Comes from here, huh? No? No, from there. Who knows? Okay, the board is fine. And if you think this is a cheap job, you are wrong. We are charging 50 pounds for this job. Because the people, you know, are still confused and they don't know what to short, what, so now you know what we have to short, that two resistors, yeah? If you have a different design, go on Google, check for the USB-C pinout and short the data lines, yeah? You need data lines, that's what you need, and plus and minus. Okay? I'm really sorry, but I get angry, you know, the people, like, they choose one standard. You know, when you choose a standard, you have to check that standard before, you know. You have to check everything about what do you want for the other part of the world, yeah, for the world, whole world, to use that, you know, like how is the USB-C. They vote, like, look, we are voting for this. Same thing, yeah? But actually, no one tested. So I understand, yeah, I understand. So you want to the charging port to be very strong, and to be common part with the body. But you know, when you do like that, the tension is not here. The tension is on the back. Where are the pins? When you do something like that, the tension are in the back. You understand? Yeah.
And the weekend is coming and... You know what it's all about? Time with the family. I'm doing nothing. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just spending the time with the family. And yeah, sometimes play games and things like that. Well, Maybe we can try a live stream Saturday. Yeah, just you know, I wish to speak with, with you guys, with the subscribers, yeah. Okay, everything looks fine, yeah. No, this is not from here. Check one more time if it's charging. One point two. Let's see if it's coming on. Yeah, Samsung Galaxy A5. Yeah, that's the phone. But I don't think it's important, you know? If you have USB-C on your phone, just be careful, be careful. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. You know how the sticky words, uh, these sticky things works, yeah? Now you put it back, yeah? You hit the phone again, and you put the clamps, yeah? Because that sticky thing get active only when you hit up the back, yeah? Okay? Yeah, it's working fine. Software update, password, yeah. Okay? Thank you for watching, have a great weekend, I don't think we have nothing good today, or maybe I'll find something more, but anyway, like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you later, yeah, bye.